My name is Paul Nolet and I'm playing Henry Drummond. Um, I was involved in theater 37 years ago and I hadn't done anything for a long, long time. I did my first show last year after 30 plus years. I read it in high school. I read it, Inherit the Wind when I was in high school and um, I've never seen the movie or, or a stage version. I just remembered it and loved it and I think it's more current now than it probably was in the 50s. And my favorite line is, uh, they're laughing at me, mother. <laughs> and no, it's not my line. <laughs> Um, I don't, you know, he, he's a little shopworn and, um, a little folksy, but he puts it on, you know, um, he's just kind of this crotchety old guy as far as I can tell, you know, um, I did some research into, um, Clarence Darrow, um, and he was a bit of a curmudgeon and a misogynist and um, yeah wow. uh, so I'm kind of playing around with that while at the same time not making him completely loathsome yeah um, in what way? Um, I, I, I like to see myself on the righteous side of things. Um, I don't believe in following along and I don't believe in leaving anything unsaid. I would, I, if I weren't playing Henry Drummond, I would play Hornbeck. I would want to play Hornbeck. Um, he, He's just everything he says is is like a soliloquy. It's just, it's it's. I think the most challenging role in the show, um, and I'm glad I wasn't cast as one. <laughs> um, it's been great. You know, uh, I. One of the reasons I did this show was. Um, just, I moved back here from California. Don't know a lot of people. Certainly haven't met a lot of people my age, you know. And, and everybody in the show is younger than me, but um, it's it's a nice, diverse group of people. Um, the last show I did was great, but it was all married women and teenage kids. And so this is really nice to ha be working with people across the board, every age. Um, it's been fun. Uh, you know, I've been painting sets and that's actually been a really good way to just kind of go, 